Dear friends, welcome to the uh, today's lecture on differential geometry. Uh, as you see, I put a, a surface here. Uh, this is a uh, ellipsoid, so it's basically a helix, and it will uh, be covered in today's lecture. So I just put it in advance. So let me start by writing down the uh, name of the section we will cover from the book computational techniques so this is 5.4 so far we have seen many concepts now we will see how to compute those uh, 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 how to compute, how to make computations involving those concepts. As usual, let's start with a surface in R3, a surface, and uh, X from D to M, a surface patch. Well, we have defined already these concepts, these functions, uh, this is e sub u dot product e sub u <coughs> e f was e sub u dot product uh, x sub v and g was x sub v dot product x sub v. Uh, we just <coughs> remarked that <coughs> we just remarked that uh, f which is x sub u dot x sub v from uh, calculus and linear algebra we know that this quantity is just norm of these uh, vectors multiplied times the angle between the uh, two vectors r is the angle between x sub u and x sub v in uh, the tangent space okay so let's see uh, uh, at any point we have the tangent space and we have this tangent vectors so t p m let's say x sub u here uh, x sub v here and let's say x sub u here and this is the angle between these two Okay, so this is V. All right, let's continue. This is the first remark. Uh, the second uh, remark is this. Uh, we know again from uh, calculus that the norm of the exterior product is nothing but X sub U, norm of X sub U, and then norm of X sub V minus uh, squared minus the square of the inner product well therefore this is just this is e squared and then uh, no this is e and then this is g minus f squared right just see that okay and the third <clears throat> remark, we have this. If we have two vectors written in this coordinate, let's say V is a vector whose X U coordinate and X V coordinate are these. Uh, yes, and U, uh, W is another vector. Let's say W1 X sub U and W2 X sub V. Then the inner product of these is just if you take the inner product uh, keeping in mind that x sub u dot x sub u is e and so on so we see this uh, v1 times w1 or let me just write this in detail sorry dot product w1 x sub u w2 x sub v 
and this is just w1 uh, v1 times w1 e right v1 w1 e and then uh, yeah this is v w uh, v2 w2 v2 w2 uh, g and then cross terms uh, x sub u times x sub v coefficient is v1 w2 plus v2 w1 and this is x sub u x sub v which is f so this is the uh, result what else let's see Uh, the normal vector also the normal vector field to M so uh, here is the normal vector let me just put it here let's say uh, this is the normal vector let's say u what is this normal vector of course it is just the cross product of the two uh, linearly independent vectors and divided by the norm of that uh, cross product the normal vector field uh, u to m can be written is how uh, u is x sub u cross x sub v and then x sub u x sub v all right let's keep also this in mind okay uh, now let me continue uh, taking derivatives uh, let uh, x so, uh, so our coordinate patch let's say it is coordinates first coordinate second coordinate and the third coordinate uh, then uh, the derivatives of these x sub u x sub v we know what they are but the second derivatives what are these so these are just a uh, second derivative of x1 with respect to this and then second derivative of x2 with respect to this and the second derivative of x3 with respect to del u squared x up uh, uv is just second derivative of x1 del u del v second derivative of x2 del u del v and second derivative of x3 del u del v and finally the uh, second derivative with respect to v will be just uh, second derivative of x1 with respect to v square uh, second derivative of x2 del u squared and similarly for v3 okay we also define quantities l which is the shape operator on x u uh, that product with x u uh, m is the shape operator of x u with this we know that this is uh, symmetric although we didn't prove it yet uh, this is just x sub v that product x sub u and n is just 
as shape operator on xv dot xv okay so these are just definitions we will see what they are in a minute uh first of all we have this corollary of this uh, uh, definitions basically if x is a surface patch in m which is a surface in r3 then kx is just ln minus m squared divided by eg minus f squared and the scalar curvature is just gl plus en minus 2fm divided by the same quantity but this time you multiply by 2 eg minus f squared okay let's see the proof proof is a uh, uh, proof makes use of a technical fact which i will explain in a minute okay <clears throat> Well, in the last lecture, lecture, we have seen that one, the cross product of the uh, vectors S, V, S, U, the values of uh, the shape operator on V and W is just the scale uh, Gaussian curvature times uh, this vector and uh, we had this also uh, object and this was the scalar curvature times this maybe I should write here x to be consistent now uh, i will write down an equality uh, we will make use of of uh, uh, the uh, so-called sorry so-called uh the uh, lagrange identity uh here is the uh, result for any uh, vectors x uh y v w in r3 so here these are uh, vectors they are not the points here that it's not that x here uh, uh, we have the following cross product of the two vectors x y and then the dot product uh, of that with the cross product of v and w can be computed as the determinant x dot v x dot w y dot v and y dot w okay okay Uh, this is, by the way, uh, is an exercise. I will leave it as, as an exercise. Exercise six of section 
6.3 okay just straightforward computation so i just leave it to you now what i will do uh, we have this uh, equalities uh, i will consider this as uh, let's say vector x and then y and take the dot product of this with another vector which is cross product of x u and x v uh, uh, which is the normal vector so this is what i'm going to do so i will use lagrange identity now take the dot product that product of the terms in uh, the equation uh, one above with uh, v cross w to get well if i do that uh, i will take that product with this term so i will consider this as x y and then that product with uh, u cross v no v cross uh, sorry yeah v cross w and uh, i will take that product of uh, this thing with v cross w so i will get two determinants two determinants like this and let me tell you what i get uh, to get the term on the left hand side will be this sv dot product uh, v sv dot product with w sw dot product v sw dot product with w and then i have this scalar term and then uh, the dot product of the term here with uh, again uh, with itself so i will get v dot v v dot w w dot v and w dot w so from this we get from this and hence we get this kx the gaussian curvature is just maybe i should write it like this kx becomes s v dot v s w or s v dot w s w dot uh, v and s w dot w divided by v dot v v dot w w dot v and w dot w and then uh, what are these uh, gadgets uh, so okay so here uh, my uh, okay yeah uh, uh, let v to be x up <coughs> uh, v and uh, w to be x up uh, sorry yeah x sub u and uh, w to be x sub v and then we have uh, this definitions l m and n and we had also uh,
E, F, and G. So if I combine all these, we get the following. This will be just uh, uh, L, M, and then N square. Sorry, L. This is L. This is N minus M squared. And then here I get E and uh, G minus uh, F squared. And uh, similarly, uh, using the second uh, equation, we get the scalar curvature equal to GL plus EN minus 2FM divided by again EG minus F squared but this time we have two factors the factor 2 in front okay Okay, so uh, this finishes the proof. Now uh, we will start something different, slightly different. So let me start with this observation. Well, since uh, x sub u and x sub v are uh, tangent vectors, are in the tangent vectors, and u is, of course, normal to the tangent uh, plane, we get this. u dot x sub u is equal to zero. So, if I take derivative of this quantity, I get still zero. So zero is equal to derivative of this quantity with respect to v. u dot x sub u is zero. But what is this? Derivative with respect to uh, derivative, directional derivative in the direction of x, v. This is just uh, x sub u. So we apply uh, Leibniz rule, x sub u, and then I have u dot x sub u v, okay. Uh, also, since the shape operator at the point P evaluated on a vector is just this, And this is just minus u sub v. We get the following x uh, s of x sub v is just minus x sub v u, which is minus yes. Okay. All right. So if I combine all this, we get the following. Hence, S of uh, X sub V, that product X sub U, this is just uh, U sub V, that product x sub u and this is just minus of uh yeah 
so this is minus minus u dot x up u v uh, because uh, uh, Okay, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, from this, we have u dot, uh, u, uh, dot product with this is equal to minus of this. So I am just making use of that. Okay. Uh, so this is just, uh, so s of xv dot product x sub u is just uh, u dot product x sub u v. So this is the conclusion. Here, of course, we may replace x and v. Uh, hence, uh, we have also this. If I replace x and v, we get v u. But this is the same thing as uv. Therefore, uh, which proves that S is uh, symmetric. Okay. We had postponed the proof of this, and uh, this is uh, the proof. Well, similarly, <clears throat> we can do the following. S of x u dot product x v is just u times x v u, uh, which is uh, u dot No, 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 I'm sorry. We already did this. Okay, now we have the lemma. Uh, we have a lemma. Now we have a lemma. Uh, here is the lemma. If X is a surface patch, Uh, for for M a surface in R three, then we have the followings. First, L which is uh, S of X U dot product S U. This is the uh, the definition. M is this XV U dot X U V and N is X sub V X sub V which is U dot X sub V V and uh, we actually already proved this but let me just write down again uh, the first and the the third uh, follows from follows from uh, the first lemma of a uh, section uh, 5.2 uh, which states that it was this lemma That product of second derivative with the vector u is just uh, 
this gadget for the shape operator. Uh, so here, uh, you know, uh, this is just alpha double prime. Uh, this is alpha prime, uh, and this is again alpha double prime, and this is alpha prime, and the middle equality is just proved above, right? You just prove this over here, uh, this one, the middle one is proved above. So we have this uh, technical result. Uh, let's see some examples now. The first one is the helisoid. Uh, helisoid is this surface, okay? Is this surface here? Let me describe how we obtain the surface. You do this. You take the, you take one axis, and then. Uh, let's say this is the z-axis and then here is the uh, x-axis and here is the y-axis uh, you take a circle here and then so for any point you take you choose a point here so uh, you rotate in the xy plane along uh, about the circle and then uh, at the same time you just move upward so uh, so as you move on the circle you also have a vertical uh, speed and you just move upward and you just take you just take uh, for any point here the whole line joining origin to this uh, point and you just rotate this line around the xy plane at a constant speed while moving upward again in the z direction so what would be the then uh, the uh, parameterization well parameterization is just this let me write and then i will explain u times cosine nu u times sine nu and then b uh, nu uh, here b is not zero so b is the vertical speed uh, so you may v is uh, this is yeah let's take it v B is the vertical, uh, no, B is the vertical speed. As V uh, changes, you just move around the circle and go upward. What about U? U just is this direction, okay? So U is this, uh, you just move on this uh, line. Okay. And uh so yeah here is you see it, those uh, lines okay for example uh you know it is uh, a line like this this is one of the lines okay see this is uh, a point on the uh z axis and you move on this uh, line, okay? Mm, well, the text is, I guess, is this one, maybe. 
I should. Okay. So the text is it is here. Yeah, this is the z-axis, okay? All right. Okay. Let's uh, make the computations for this uh, surface patch. Well, what is x sub u? Well, this is cosine v, sine v, and then zero x sub v is just uh, minus u sine v u cosine v and b uh, so e is x sub u dot product x sub u this is just one f is uh, the cross product of these two the dot product of these two which is zero so x sub u x sub v which is zero and g is x sub v dot x sub v and this is just uh, that product of this with itself u squared uh, sine squared v squared cosine squared so you get a u squared and then b squared okay let's find also the uh, normal vector which was x sub u cross x sub v divided by norm of this vector and if you do this so i have i j k uh, well will not be enough here maybe I should do it like this u is okay let's see uh, i j and k x sub u cosine v sine v zero minus u sine v u cosine v and b and then i have a uh, norm of this gadget uh, so norm of uh, this vector let's see what we get here so uh, the i coordinate is just minus u cosine v minus u cosine v and then j coordinate is minus u sine v similarly and this is just uh, plus uh, minus minus plus so it is just uh, u because i have u times sine squared plus u times cosine squared which is u and then norm of this what is the norm it is u squared another u squared so uh well no 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 okay this is not u this is v sorry yes so norm of this is just u squared plus v squared and that's square root yes so that's it let's compute also the second derivatives what is x sub u u x sub u was this another derivative of this is just the zero vector zero 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 x sub u v so i take derivative with respect to v so we get minus sine v uh, cosine v and zero what is x sub v v so minus u times cosine v 
uh, minus u times sine v and then I have zero okay hence uh, the other quantities for example L x sub u nu that product with u will be just uh, x sub u u that product x sub u cross x sub v and then uh, well I don't have to write this here is uh, u and x sub u u is zero so this is zero uh, similarly n which is x sub v v that product u x sub v v that product with u so that product of these two it is b u cosine squared and then uh, b u sine squared and the result is uh, zero uh, zero wait a minute oh, oh i made a mistake here sorry this is b times i made a mistake sorry yeah, b times sine v and then minus b times cosine v yeah now when you take that product this is minus b u sine cosine and this is plus b u sine cosine so this is zero and m is just uh, x sub u v u v that product with u so that product of these two minus sine squared b minus cosine squared b so uh, minus b uh, divided by of course uh, b squared plus u squared okay Uh, yeah so we get yeah okay and the Gaussian curvature which is ln minus m squared divided by eg minus f squared uh, this is uh, if I just put everything uh, so m squared divided by eg minus f squared so this is uh, minus uh, minus uh, b over b squared plus u squared and then square of this divided by uh, okay yeah uh, b squared plus w squared all right so we get uh, plus minus minus b squared divided by uh, this uh, and then this so we have b squared plus w squared squared all right and h which is uh, g l minus e n no plus e n minus 2 f m divided by 2 e g minus f squared uh, if you combine all this you will see that the result is zero so uh, gauss curvature is uh, always negative uh, this will mean that this is a hyperbolic uh, surface actually curvature is negative and the uh, scalar curvature is uh, zero so it's a minimal surface right
it's going to go to zero means it's a minimal surface okay here is another example the saddle surface okay let's see how much time we have okay now i have enough time uh, so m is the surface defined by the single equation z equals x times y here is a parameterization for this surface we have seen this surface uh, many times before but we will make now some computations uh, so let's take derivatives it's a differential geometry course so this is what we do uh, and then 0 1 and u okay so what is e e was x sub u dot product with x sub u which is 1 plus v squared uh, f is x sub u dot product x sub v so it is just uh, u times v and g is x sub v times x sub v so it is 1 plus u squared and what is u u was x sub u cross product x sub v divided by its norm uh, i'll uh, leave the computation to you just write down the result minus u minus uh, minus v minus u and one one plus u squared plus v squared norm of this and then we have uh okay uh the other derivatives x sub u u so x sub u is this when you take derivative you get zero x sub u v 0 0 1 and x sub v v which is 0 0 0 again or can just simply write 0 okay and then i have l which was x sub u u dot product with u so it is 0 and x sub v v dot product with u which is 0 and finally m which is x sub u v dot product with u and it is uh, so uh, that product of these two so it is right this vector and this vector which is just one over one plus u squared plus v squared yes and then we compute the curvatures Gaussian curvature which was uh, L and minus M squared divided by EG minus F squared and this is just minus 1 over 1 plus U squared plus V squared squared and the scalar curvature which is just gl plus en minus 2fm divided by the twice of eg minus f squared and this turns out to be minus uv minus uv divided by 1 plus u squared v squared uh, it is not square but just three halves this time okay so uh, we know how this surface looks like right this is just surface like uh, i have drawn this several times before mm, sorry okay this is the origin uh, 
at the origin Gaussian curvature so let's say P is the origin 0 0 0 so Gaussian curvature at the origin is uh, minus 1 and scalar curvature at P at the origin is uh, 0 right Gaussian curvature is always negative again this is a hyperbolic surface uh, scalar curvature is uh, well it takes all the values basically because it is uh, sometimes negative sometimes positive and so on okay so we will stop at this point and next time we will uh, continue with the next section Okay.